giant bug. Bye all Alright, welcome back everybody! And today we are back with Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't know if I'm saying that right because the Japanese is Aseru Aruseus. Aruseus. Okay, so before we go to help Ray with his battling techniques, we're gonna run over here and grab this quest. So yeah, so last time we just did some training and now we're gonna go help Ray with some battling. <clears throat> we're gonna grab this quest first though. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? Well, that's what I was wondering because there's things that say get a big one or a small one. I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different sized one lined up side by side. They really are Breezel bigger than mine. I'd love to see them alongside the one I have. For comparison's sake. You're welcome. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Breezel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? What is with everybody taking my Pokemon? I'll make it with your while. Big Buizel, little Buizel. Let me see. Are you bigger? They look about the same, don't they? Oh my god, how cute is this? Oh my god! Do it again. Well, in any case, they look about the same size to me. Alright, let's go help. Alright, Ray. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. I have no plate. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. I think you're an alien. understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a servant course, Pepper, and I even just got my own po partner, but I just can't do it. That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Is it a Pikachu? I knew it! This is my Pikachu. He is Ash. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And, and really, when you get down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Yeah, it really doesn't make any sense. You know what? This is the most game that makes the most sense out of everyone in the series. Pokemon are scary. Why does it be? Why can't it fire electricity? That is weird. <laughs> You're... Ah, Pika! But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my survey core work, well, my partner have got, got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team. I feel bad for that Pikachu. Oh, that is the worst matchup ever. Um.
Your Pikachu sucks, dude. A level four Beelzel, like, destroyed it. Whoa, you're so in sync with your Pokemon. Yep, I call it my charm. Move mastered? What does that mean? That was amazing! The way you fight alongside your Pokémon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up the best we can, right Pikachu? Gah! Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see? That's why he normally stays in his ball. <laughs> I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Well, yeah, if you're scared of it, it's not gonna like you very much. By the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Yeah. Wow. There's a chart. I like this chart. That's probably hella confusing. So you're the one new recruit everyone's talking about. I don't know who this is. Oh. The name's Zisu. Captain of the Security Corps. I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zeus is a master of ancient martial art when will you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually... Oh, this is what just happened. It can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. That's such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. That's cool. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can attack. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for you a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out before going to tackle my request. You remember I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see about my request. I'm supposed to meet her down past De Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready then, meet us down there, would ya? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zisu. Check the map just to make sure there's no more quests. All right. So we're going to do a little uh, exploring before we head to the quest. Boo! Oh, hey! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, make it easier to catch her, giving you an advantage once the battle starts. I kind of figured that out already, but yeah. If you're a part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might 
end up meeting every last Pokemon here in the sea. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Thanks. You're that girl who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake galore recipe I invented. I call it... Da -da -da -da, the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe and I know it's witter. Problem is the folks around here just aren't catching on my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. Mushroom cake does not sound delicious. I'll teach you how to use it. All you have to do is return, spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge a nut from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. Oh, uh, hello. Didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. I haven't even seen one. You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in Pokedex and show it to me. I, uh, I mean, so we can uncover the truth. I really appreciate that it shows you on the map. I can't let you pass until you're awake. Oh, you already are. All right. Look, it's a little Snorlax. I saw a big evil one earlier. Over here. This here's Sora. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new, do you see? But such talk and wait. Right now I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yes. That's good to hear. The security corps of yours certainly wasn't up to the cat task. This here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. Oh, He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. He's cute. Are you ready to die? Phew! Well, that didn't do much, did it? Oh god, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I don't think I have any fight. Yes. 
Let's see what Swift does. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Paralyzed. Oh, looks like your partner is dead. Looks like your partner is dead. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, I feel bad. No. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Thank you for calling the buffoons, because I agree. Well thought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? You should prove to be useful. Oh, thank you. Yes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. Oh, alpha Pokemon. Is alpha Pokemon the one with the red eyes? It's a large, fearsome foe like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? My phone is ringing. Is that strange thing coming of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of the Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? Nope. It's my phone, but it turned into a thing when I traveled through time. It certainly does seem to show the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. Why does it... I don't even know what an alpha is. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps' new one. Though, before we can continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? My, my, how about that? Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story, the true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of history was born in the process. That makes sense that we came from the future. It's by the grace of the almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Okay. Oh, it's the, it's the, um, it's the thing that lady wants. Shaking trees up here. I'm curious what the shaking tree is. Oh! Um. Yeah, that's probably not good. Ah! I 
I don't want to kill it. I like the little firework that pops out. Nice. I don't even know what that is that we're throwing at. You can go out there here and come down and click on Wormple here because now see like the Pokeballs are glowing and then you just press X. Give us the butterfly! That is the butterfly. Yay! Oh, there. I'm after some cherry berries. You know, on the shiny red ones. They grow on some trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree and your Pokemons will grab the berries. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokeball in it. Shame to be wasted on the ball. You had me three cherry berries, you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Do I have three cherry berries? I do. I have 13. Here's a handy tip. Oh, you can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. I already did that. You guys are telling me things I've already done. But you gave me 15 Pokeballs, so. Oh, it's a Geo, dude. What the fuck? Dude? What the? Just hit it with a strong confusion. Balls. Go to sleep. You can't look around while you're asleep. I mean, I guess like you can technically look around while you're sleeping, I guess, but you won't see anything. Yay, we did it. Way to go, Sachi! Hmm. Wonder what that's for. I can't read that because it was under my name. But, oh, Zubat! Aw, 
I'll come on my own time when I'm not streaming and do some of this completing the research stuff. Try to focus on the main quest. I got a little distracted during the first part of the stream because it's fun. Investigate Zubat's knack for navigating in the dark. I don't understand how to do that. Oh, I don't think I have a rock type move. Oh, I do have a rock type move. Every time that ding 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 pops on, I think it's like my phone because the first little, the first two notes are like. Dee, doo, dee, doo, doo. Ooh, what are these? Hold on, too bad. Once again, I don't know if you can tell from like the outside. That rock up there is moving. Do you see that? Oh, why was it moving? Come on, Coming from the back way here. So even your professor decided to join us, he did? Whew! Thank goodness I got here in time! As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that's your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've l long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. <laughs> and that's what you're here for, sir. To drive that interloper from this place. Aren't sure your Pokemon are ready for battle? Thank you. My word, what a large specimen! Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land as they're oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. Go show it, beyond any mistaking. Thanks. Be careful, Zora. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. I would imagine they would be difficult to catch stretching. <laughs> Giant bug. I already 
figured that out, actually. Filled with wild might. <gasps> you know what? I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna try it. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. No, Sachi! Oh. This should be super effective on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so they don't go to sleep. Interesting. So instead they just get drowsy and it's just a condition. Hmm. Easy peasy. Easy the peases. And that went kind of off. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that. It truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Well, I mean, I am a time traveler, so maybe I am that hero. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing against such a foe. Ma! What in the world? Oh! Oh, I heard you can ride on these, like, a horse. It's the great rare deer! Dut, dut, dut. Staring right at me. He looks upon you with kindness, so really? His face looks like he wants to eat me. say the great Weirder has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is a, an esteemed Pokemon that can dash around the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to all of us. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff! A Pokemon letting someone ride on it! Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola! Professor? Professor? Wait, sorry, I gotta get my vapors. I tank things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we're able to set base camp here once sort took of a request. About that, I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but it is truly fine for us to move base camps like this. The three, his three region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdy has taken a liking to Sora as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. I like her. I like her better than anyone we've met so far. She was polite. She didn't send us on dangerous missions that could possibly kill us and belittle us. Even though we're the only ones that have caught in apparently three Pokemon in one day. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to know them better. And the first step towards that is completing the Pokedex. The construction corps should be here soon. They have our new base camp pitched in no time. Nice. Here we have it. Our new base camp up on Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you could ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. 
Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? I did complete it. Starly's complete too. Yay! So now out of our side quests, we just need a... Buizel. Yo chum, the usual potato mochi. Can we not eat something different? And make it for three today as well? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love mochi. Have you all heard the grave news? The frenzied cleaver from the rumors? It ended up mulling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. The medical course has a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. This is a cleaver that reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will of course step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Sora here can- yeah, see they just put everything on me. But that Cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps of Duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Yeah, and who's the one gonna be fighting? That's why I liked my the next day. Okay, well, we are going to end this episode here. And we'll continue the next day. Next day. And I will see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on trip, Twitch, make sure to go check out my YouTube. And I'll see you later. Done. <laughs>